welcome back to my channel if you're new here then my name is Amelia and welcome everyone I hope you're all healthy happy fantastic etc um, it is a glorious Sunday here today so I'm, I'm ready to get outside in the sunshine you know try and get some sort of sun-kissed skin it's very unlikely I'm very pale um yes welcome back please ignore my crazy hair color I tried to highlight my own hair but it's gone a bit wrong um but yeah so this week with Brooke it's been a interesting week I feel like we've made a lot of progress but I don't want to say too much at the beginning um because I want you to watch the clips and then I'll chat at the end basically chat I did say chat it sounded like I said chat but I did say chat um yes so get ready grab grab some snacks I need to calm down because I'm just talking really quickly but that's fine and let's get into the video okay guys now it wouldn't be a brook update without a bit of long raining would it here I am long raining again um I'll try and reduce the amount of long raining and lunging content I have in my videos but you know when you've got a young horse it's something that you need to be doing all the time anyway I find long reining is so good just to get her going forwards and also just teaching her steering and she's so good with it I love it it's probably good for me to get a bit of exercise as well so this was Sunday last Sunday um, I had a cameraman at this point so after I'd done a little bit of long reining, I did actually ride Brooke just around the yard outside the front of the stables. Now she was fantastic for the first few minutes and then this started to happen. Now I want to include this because I want to be realistic with Brooke's, I won't say problem, she's an unbroken pony, but this is our first proper challenge really. She doesn't understand why I'm kicking her, why I'm squeezing her and what I want her to do. So the main goal for this week was to teach her to go forward. So now we've skipped forward to Thursday. Um, and this is me lunging her before I ride her. Now I think lunging is always a good way to just, to just oh sorry I can't get my words out. Lunging is a good way to what am I trying to say? <laughs> Just to give you a bit of an idea what your horse is going to be like when you ride it. Blows all the cobwebs, lets them get their energy out. Yeah, lunging is always very useful. She has got side reins on, but again, I've just kept them really loose because obviously I don't ride in side reins. So I want it to be as realistic to how it would be with me on one on her back. Now I have, I'm really proud of this, but I have trained Brooke to stand by the mountain block and she does it even when I'm not there. I do not recommend that you leave your four-year-old without a lead just stood in the middle of the arena with the reins and everything dangling down. It is such a hazard. Don't do it. I trust this pony so much. I feel like we've got a really good bond on the ground. But anyway, so our challenge was to get moving. So I'm sat on her back and I ask her to go and she just won't. So I decide to be very patient. And I ask her to go and she's just having none of it. So we waited and we waited and we waited. And she was so confused why I'm just sat on her back, kicking her every now and then. I am still using my voice commands as I would on the floor. But she just, something just wasn't clicking in her head. So after a really long wait, Brooke has a light bulb moment. And off we go. And after this, we did keep stopping and then I just waited patiently again. Until we started moving forward. Now, I was quite lucky that I have a lot of time on my hands to do this. I'm sure I'll get some criticism, but she's not the type of pony that you can scare to go forward. She's very bold. And she's very intelligent once she understands. So every time she did move forward, 
she got lots of praise and I was giving her the voice commands and I stopped kicking her and then we got stuck again very very stuck rocking my whole body she's having a bit of a strop but then she gets it and she settles straight away so this is actually a massive improvement because at the beginning of the week I couldn't get her to go forward without a leader to be honest and I had no one helping me the camera was on a tripod hence the poor footage <laughs> um, but it's fine we move it's fine I even did some polls with her so this was a massive breakthrough now with young courses I always find the best way to make them go forward is to take them hacking so the day after this so Friday we took Brooke on her very first hack so here we go and I've got the lead rope around her neck just as for an emergency as my friend Catherine was riding with me just in case she needed to lead me which she didn't um, but we were only staying in walk so I wasn't worried about her standing on the lead rope but again don't do this guys don't follow in my footsteps also I recommend if you're riding a four year old on the road for the first time wear a body protector She was so good. We went past vans, cars, we went past a barking Rottweiler. She's seen um what are they called? Like signs on the road. Road markings, that's what I'm trying to say. And she was just such a legend. And she really got used to following the horse in front, which I don't think she's ever done before. Now this is Saturday, so this is uh, you're going to see this on Sunday. So yeah, this is yesterday. Wow, my brain is not working. Um, I'm sorry about the poor quality. This is filmed off my phone. And this was the beginning of our session. I decided to go in the arena. Um, yeah, just to see how we've got on. Now she did get a little bit stuck there, but it wasn't a massive battle. And this was right at the beginning. I'm so chuffed with her. We're finally going places. We'll be, I don't know, we'll be competing before you know it. <laughs> I'm only joking. She's been with me for four weeks on Tuesday, so I feel like we've made good progress. I'm so chuffed with her. I've always got a massive grin on my face when I'm riding her. She's just such a ledge. I decided to turn around here. She does her classic Brooke thing where she looks at my foot, has a little strop. Just ignore my rider. You've got to do what you've got to do to get her moving. And she's like, ah, oh, I understand. Again, lots of praise. Lots of praise. She's a little unsettled, but this, again, like I said, it's the beginning of our ride. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Go, Brooke, go. Off we go. You've seen how high she lifts her knees up. The flies are so bad at the moment. I don't know if anyone else is struggling. And then big pat and a big hug because she is gorgeous. Now, this is actually the end of today's session. We did some transitions. Big pat. And look, I'm not having to kick her, <laughs> which is lovely. She's learning so quickly. I think she's going to be such a nice ridden pony for someone. Big pat. And then off we go. So I really hope you guys can see the improvement in Brooke. Because I honestly am over the moon. We, we still need to continue this education of Kona, like going forward. So I think more hacking will definitely be on the cards. Because um, it's worked wonders. She's like a different pony now. She's more confident. And I think she's finally understanding what I want from her. Oh, she moves lovely. I got so lucky. Considering I just bought her a Facebook. Don't do that, guys. Please. Don't buy a pony unseen off Facebook. <laughs> transitions 
gorgeous. She might even make a nice little dressage pony. But yes, that is Brooke's weekly update. Gorgeous. Okay guys, so I'll let her in my mouth. Don't get Pomeranians if you don't want hair sticking to your lipstick. Where was I? So, Brooke this week, as you can see from the videos, she has improved dramatically. I did miss a, I did miss a few days out with the camera, but I'm just rubbish. I'm just so bad. Um, on Monday, my lovely friend Catherine did help me lead Brooke around just to try and get her walking forward. Um, so that's kind of all you really missed um, from those clips. Now, I wasn't sure whether to include this bit in this video because ultimately, when Brooke's all produced and ready to go, competing and ready to do pony club, I probably will sell her. I was a bit nervous to include this in because, well, you know what people are like. Sometimes if they watch stuff, even what the horse has done years ago, it puts them off wanting to have her. But that's not the kind of home I'd want Brooke to go to anyway. So I'm going to be completely open with you guys. So on our first hack, Brooke was incredible. She was so good. She followed Lexi with Catherine at the front and we just went... Not too far, because it was, you know, the first time I properly got her going forward. So you need to walk before you can run. Um, and we went past all sorts. And I, I was chatting away to Catherine, and I was like, oh, do you know what, she's just the best four-year-old in the whole wide world. This is so easy. You know, I started to relax my hands. I just completely chilled out and started gossiping away with Catherine. Right. We were going downhill and suddenly a horse fly bit Brooke and I think she must have thought it was me. So she leapt in the air and because I was too busy chatting away and forgetting that I was on a just broken horse, I flew off. I flew and I did a somersault into, wasn't quite on the road, I was on the grass verge. But yeah, not ideal and unfortunately this is all I've got to show from it. I thought it'd be at least a decent bruise. That's rubbish. Um, so yeah, not ideal that I fell off. Bit gutted that Catherine didn't get it on her phone. Um, but yes, I was fine. Brooke was fine. She didn't run away. Because I've done so much groundwork with her. I just have to call her name as she comes to me. So there was no chance of her running off or anything like that. But it did shake me up a bit. It did wake me up a bit. I think I'm far too relaxed and kind of a bit naive when I'm riding her. Like, I just get so comfortable and I'm like, oh, nothing bad will ever happen to me. Because Brooke is just lovely. And this pony has just been broken in. So, yes, I learnt my lesson. And as you saw from the clip the day after, she was incredible. Like, that fall, it's like it just didn't happen. I'm not nervous to ride her. She's not nervous to be ridden. It's just one of those things. And I will definitely wake up next time. I can't believe I fell off. It's been... Oh my goodness, it's probably been... Six years since I've fallen Sorry, I'm saying it, don't spray it. Crap. <laughs> it's been about six years, yeah, since I last fell off. So, <sighs> I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what, but I do ache a bit. Like, I pulled a muscle. We all know I don't like doing exercise. So, yes. I just, I hope you appreciate me being completely transparent with you guys. Um, Brooke has not got a nasty bone in her body, but you're going to fall off. Horses are animals at the end of the day. Like, this is gonna happen. <laughs> it was so funny. It was probably like a you've been frightened moment, but gutted, I didn't get it. 
think I need to invest in like a GoPro or something, but yes, so that is my little confession of my first hack, which is hilarious. Um, but yeah, she's been such an angel since then, and like I said, I'm not worried at all. At all. <laughs> she's so cool. She's so good. Um, I sound obsessed with my pony, don't I? Which I am. But um, I think she's coming along so nicely. And although we've had a couple of things, like a couple of issues, like she didn't understand how to go forward, you know, that's not a major issue. And she's she's learned now. So yes, we're making excellent progress. So if you have enjoyed today's video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Because I think about, I think it's like 62% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So, yeah. Oh, again with the begginess. What's wrong with me? Anyway guys, it's a beautiful Sunday, so I'm going to go off and walk my lovely dogs. And I hope to see you next week. Um, I can't promise there'll be a video on Wednesday, but I can promise there will be one on Sunday. So I'll see you then. Bye.